Hey everyone, here's my review for Alpha Protocol, the new espionage RPG. I say it like there's another one out there, but there isn't. Uh, from Obsidian Entertainment, the people that made KOTOR 2, and I forgot the other big game they made, uh, whatever. Anyway, I've been looking forward to this game for a little while, and I was saddened to hear like a week before the game com comes out that there's a whole bunch of terrible reviews for it. I decided I'm still going to get it anyway, and did I like it? I don't know. You have to listen to the rest of the review to find out. Okay, now, story and Alpha Protocol, I have to say, is actually really well told and really well done, pretty much. It's pretty much a simple kind of spy game, I mean, spy game or just movie or whatever. It's just a simple sp spy plot where you got a guy, he's a spy, pretty much. He goes around, he does spy things, he does this and that, he shoots people, you know, he does the spy things. And, you know, he's with this uh, place called Alpha Protocol, you know, the game name. I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyway... Yeah, he's uh, part of Alpha Protocol. He decides, you know what, I'm cool. Alpha Protocol's cool. I love Alpha Protocol. One day he gets betrayed by Alpha Protocol. He's like, oh. So pretty much it's pretty much a spy working for a government. He gets betrayed. He gets revenge. Pretty much a simple story, but it's actually well told because he has so many great characters, so many great lines, great voice acting, but I'll get to that in the sound. And you just, like I say, you had great characters, so it definitely helped. And it has a lot of cool little twists and cool ways they set up the plot, so definitely points for Alpha Protocol Call for having a great story, pretty much. So let's go on to the sound of the game. Okay, the sound in Alpha Protocol, I have to say, the voice acting I thought was fantastic. From everybody, you could definitely tell they actually cared about what they were reading. They weren't like, okay, let me get, uh, ow, that hurt, the end. Uh, no, it's like, they actually cared about what they're saying, just like many voice actors, like Nolan North, who's in this game, uh, He's in everything, though. Uh, just like Nolan North and Mark Hamill and freaking everybody else. I mean, they, they all care. And so do the people that voice these people. I don't really know who they are, who voices the main character, Michael Thornton, who's the badass spy. Uh, but he does a great job. Everybody does a great job. The sound effects overall are decent, too, I guess. Uh, not fantastic, but, you know, just decent. So overall, decent sound effects with great voice acting. That makes it a pretty good sounding game. Okay, now the graphics in Alpha Protocol, this is where it kind of goes down a little bit. Now, I won't say these are bad graphics. I won't even say these are mad graphics. I'll say they're decent graphics, actually. I guess decent and mad are kind of the same, but whatever. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Maybe mad is a little below it. I would say they're decent, actually. There's a lot of bad textures, and there's a lot of textures not really even loading up properly. But the character models are actually really good. Uh... The animations are actually pretty decent, except maybe when uh, Michael Thornton, the main character, uh, uses stealth when he's like tiptoeing around. He looks like a cartoon. He just like, eh, eh. he's like, you just picture a cartoon trying to sneak around with his tippy toes. Like that's what Michael Thornton looks like when he sneaks. But everything else actually looks pretty decent. I like uh, he's going on a ladder. He's jumping on a ladder. He's jumping on this. He's breaking some guy's neck. He's shooting. I don't know. Every all the animations besides a couple like the stealth are actually pretty decent. And the environments aren't that bad when you're not looking really up close. But when you're up close, it's a little blurry. The textures aren't that great. But from what I heard, everybody's saying this, so I'm just going to say it too. I'm guessing Sega doesn't give that much money to developers. So I'm not going to fault them if that was the case. But if it wasn't, they actually gave them a lot of money. Then I don't know what the hell happened. You had plenty of time to make this game look great. But it doesn't matter. Graphics aren't everything. And it didn't ruin this game for me. What did ruin the game for me? I'm not saying the game was ruined for me at all, but what did? Let's go on to gameplay. Okay, now the gameplay in the game overall was pretty decent. Now people are saying, you know what? Oh, gun, the gameplay sucks, blah, blah, blah. I thought the gunplay was good in the in the later part of the game and pretty bland at the beginning. So I'm just going to say that about the gunplay. The stealth is just bland throughout the whole game. For espionage RPG, it's not really about espionage. You can just go up in there and say, hey, yo, screw you, bitch, kill everybody. The AI, this is what I want to talk about. The AI is ridiculously retarded. I'm just going to say it right there. They will run in front of you. They will, hey, they'll, they'll see a mine you just placed there. They're just like, ooh, I'm going to touch it. Boom. I, you know, they try to catch bullets with their teeth. They jump in front of other guys I'm trying to shoot. The, the only AI I would say is kind of decent is the boss AI. And it just felt, makes me feel like these motherfuckers, they get paid five out, five dollars an hour. They're dumb. Me, I get paid six. I know better. Like, oh my god, the boss, the boss even gets paid six, man. Goddamn recession. Anyway, overall, 
I thought that the AI was dumb as hell. I thought the stealth was decent. I thought the gunplay actually gets better later on. Now let me talk about the main thing in this, the RPG elements. I really like the RPG elements where you get to talk to people, tell them, like, you could be sarcastic, you could be, like, angry, you could be just professional, you could just tell them, hey, fuck you, I'm gonna kill you, bang. You could say, hey, I love you, I'm gonna hug you. Hug. Uh, I don't, I don't know a sound effect for hug. Uh, aww, there you go. Care Bear. <laughs> I don't care. Huh. Care Bear Hug. I don't know. Yeah. Teletubby Hug. I don't, uh, fuck it. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. I got distracted by Care Bear Hugs. Anyway, yeah, the RPG elements are great, and all the customization you get to do with your guns, like you can make them powerful, you can but customize the scope, you could do all this stuff, and you could do it for your armor and your gadgets too. It's awesome. I actually I don't know if you could do it with your gadgets. I didn't use my gad I didn't upgrade any of my gadgets, so I don't know about that. The whole game I didn't upgrade one gadget because you know why? I didn't use them really. They're kinda useless, I'll be I'll be honest. They're kinda useless, even though the AI is dumb shit retarded. So they're just like, Ooh, a grenade, shut up, I'm on fire. Uh I swear, the AI is so dumb, man. Oh my god, they just stand there and they just run into my shotgun and I bet I bet there was guys off screen just committing suicide and stuff. You know, it's just dumb shit retarded, like I keep saying. Dumb shit retarded, that's copyright me. Anyway, I still like this game. The RPG elements, the story, the sound, the pretty decent uh gunplay overall made me actually really like it. I really did. But I was still disappointed because the gunplay is only semi Decent in the beginning and pretty decent later on. Let me just say that. Not good, pretty decent later on and semi-decent in the beginning. The stealth is bland all the way through and just boring. Never used it. Bullshit. It shouldn't be called espionage RPG, to be honest, because the stealth is useless. You could just run up and kill everybody and really have no consequences, except maybe one character might not like you because you didn't do what they say. Like, oh, I don't like you, Michael. You're a gay wad. I'm like, uh, whatever. Uh, and RPG elements, all the uh, RPG elements, uh, the story and the sound, I would say save this game for me, and I would recommend a rental, I would just say that, don't listen to all the other critics, critics, listen to me, I know there's a lot of people out there that say, no, I ain't listening to you, I played the game, it sucks, whatever, you know what, blow me, there you go, that's all I gotta say, blow me, alright, so, anyway, Go check this game out if you're interested. If not, then go kill yourself. I don't care. Uh, but I wouldn't say buy it yet. All right, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't have bought it if I played it. To be honest, if I played a rental, I'd be like, you know, that was satisfying, but I wouldn't buy it. But I bought it, so might as well keep it. You know, whatever. Anyway, yeah, check the description for the full written review and for my full score. It's gonna be like in between seven and a half and maybe an eight. I doubt it's going to get an 8. It'll probably be like a 7.5, I would say. Maybe 7.6 or 7. I don't know. Or, or a 3.85 on my score out of 5. So, yeah. I'm done. Thank you and bye.